The ultimate team can be a grind, but it's something that a lot of people want to do. I know a lot of people don't really like this mode because it's pay to win, but I'm going to show you how to get through all of these challenges so that way you can have a good stacked lineup without spending your money. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to build this ultimate team for this community and I'm going to spend zero dollars. The only money that's actually gone into this team is the stuff that came with the early access pass that I got so that way I could play this game three days early. Outside of that, there'll be zero dollars actual additional dollars spent on this team so do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe and come watch me develop this ultimate team to a whole new level you can see here i already have 29 packs that i haven't even unopened yet i haven't even done the unboxing my team's already up to an 80 um and you can see here most of these are already knocked out now i'm going to give you the best tips here so that way you can do these as fast or even faster than i can simply because it took me a little while to figure out how to knock these out so quickly and the first tip that i'm going to give you is knock the easy ones out right so like do these offensive defensive scheme trials 101 and 202 i know this seems like a lot of stars in the beginning but knock these out super quickly why because all of these are played at an easy level, right? You don't have to change the difficulty level. You have to play these at an easy level. They are super easy to complete. And I'm going to give you a couple plays right here on how to beat them. All right, so a little sub caveat to this, how to beat them. Let's talk about running um, the run ones, any of the run fundamentals, right? So I'm going to show you here right now, use the speed option. So on this play, the computer does not register the speed option very well you can easily get outside every single time you want to do it and you can get to the outside it is super easy to do super easy to attack and super easy to complete these challenge if you run the speed option over and over and over again now let's talk about passing passing is super easy as well on the easy ones you can you can just throw vertical routes you can just throw crossing routes find your fastest best receiver and they will run by the computer pretty much every single time so knock those out. Anytime you scroll out of the pocket, you, you're pretty much guaranteed get those. Either get out of the pocket or run vertical routes, and you'll complete these challenge challenges very easily. So let's talk about defensive challenges, my tips for the defensive challenges, right? If you need to do a big hit stick, then you want to play off the ball. So like push your guys back, let them catch it underneath, run up, and hit stick them. But any other challenges when it comes to defense, blitz the hell out of them change your settings your coaching adjustments to strip ball and to aggressive tackling what that's going to do it's going to cause a lot more fumbles for you as well uh, it's just going to help complete the challenges a lot faster because you're creating turnovers and blitz the hell out of them run man blitzes every single time sometimes it might not work and you're going to have to restart the challenge but blitzing the hell out of them will create a lot of sacks it'll create a lot of fumbles it'll they'll just throw the ball up in the air and you'll get interceptions you're going to knock these challenges out super, super quickly. So running the ball, speed option. Passing the ball, verticals, deep crosses, run out of the pocket, throw on the run. Defensive drills, blitz the hell out of them. Make sure you change your coaching adjustments. Now, I do want to just say something. You have to pay attention to the challenges, right? So if you're doing one of these challenges here, right, make sure you're doing the bonus challenges first. Complete the bonus challenges before you complete the actual requirement challenges because once the requirements are done in a lot of these challenges, then the challenge is over. And if you didn't complete the bonus at that point, then so if it says rush for 15 and rush for 10 yards, make sure you do that obviously before the other one. This one is a super simple one where it doesn't it's not different, but sometimes like score a rushing touchdown, rush for 30 yards make sure you've rushed for 30 yards before scoring that touchdown don't just throw a touchdown because then you're not going to get the bonus and then obviously on these other ones the legend ones and other things like that you have to change the difficulty do not just do this on the easy mode because you're wasting your time just go right to the hard mode if you don't complete it the first time then so be it you just have to keep on going and you have to keep on going do it on the hard mode right out of the gate all right so those are your tips we can just recap here really quickly. Speed option, deep passes, blitz the hell out of them. Make sure you change your coaching adjustments before you blitz the hell out of them. Knock these easy ones out first, and then make sure you do the bonus ones before you do anything else.
All right, I hope those guys helped. I'll, I'll do an unboxing and unveiling of my entire team once I finish all of these challenges. I'm like 80% through right now. Just got to knock out a few more of these ones, and I've done this in just a couple a couple of seconds. Each of these challenges, just knocking boom, 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 boom. It just takes a little bit of time. Invest in the time, and it'll be paid off in the end. All right, like and subscribe. Catch you all later. Thank <music> you.